how could this happen to her? Why did it happen? What was going through his head? That again is the voice of a local grandmother who says her three-year-old granddaughter was forced to perform sex acts by this local school bus driver. We start with that very difficult topic and the very important information local families need to know. I'm Jim Snyder. I'm Reed Cowan, and for Jessica tonight, 55-year-old Michael Bonko appeared in court today accused of sexually assaulting at least two children on his school bus. And tonight, we are hearing about the crimes from the grandmother of one of the alleged victims. It is our top story at 11. News piece Kelsey Thomas is live outside the Clark County Detention Center. Kelsey? Well, Jim, out of respect for this little girl, we're not going to show her face on TV and we're not going to show her grandmother's face on TV. What you are about to hear keeps this grandmother up at night. I was like, Tavy, what did you say the bus driver did? What happened on the bus? The things this little girl came home and told her grandmother. To the nosy. Too graphic for TV. Do you target my granddaughter because you thought she couldn't talk? Because she's the type of baby. Hi. Hi. She just wave. Never quite move the lips at all. If I do this to you, you can tell it because guess what? I know you cannot talk. But she did talk. This Las Vegas grandmother says her heart stopped for an instant when her three-year-old special needs granddaughter said her bus driver forced her to perform oral sex. And I'm trying to figure out, this is a baby. This is a baby. She's three, she just turned three. She's a baby. How could this happen to her? Why did it happen? What was going through his head? Why was she target? When she saw the man accused of preying on her grandbaby in a courtroom. It was like I wanted to move and I couldn't. If I could have just got up, I would have had an outburst. I wanted to ask him so many questions and I wanted to strangle him at the same time. 55-year-old Michael Banco is charged with assaulting at least two children on his school bus. Metro investigators say they fear this little girl may not be the only victim. I hate him. I hate him. I hope he rots in hell. Banco is set to re return to court on Thursday where he could have his bail set. And that grandmother tells me she will be to going to every one of his court dates. Now, again, Metro says that there are videos from that school bus. There are surveillance cameras on that bus. And all of those videos will come into play in their investigation. Reporting live, Kelsey Thomas, News 3.